Good morning, Jesse Clark. It is Tuesday, August 30th. Today we are taking the MAP test for reading. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The weather after school today will be 83 degrees, humid with some pop-up storms like we saw this morning. And tomorrow morning at the bus stop, pleasant and sunny. For lunch today, you have a choice of a chicken fajita flatbread melt or nachos. Those come with jacama, refried beans, and a choice of fruit. If you're not interested in a chicken fajita flatbread melt or nachos, you can get a peanut butter and jelly uncrustable or a chef salad. For lunch tomorrow, you have a choice of pizza or a deli wrap made with turkey or ham. Those come with corn, sweet potato fries, and a choice of fruit. If you're not interested in pizza or a deli wrap, you can get a yogurt and cheese plate or a chef salad. The JCMS FFA is hosting its first club meeting of the 2022-2023 school year on Wednesday, August 31st, that's tomorrow, from general dismissal to 5 p.m. in room 608. Please have transportation home at 5 p.m. Any student with agri-science on their schedule, either now or in the second semester, are welcome to come to FFA. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Bentley in room 608 in the portables. Hope to see you there. Jesse Clark girls basketball takes on Beaumont tonight at 5.30 p.m. here at Jesse Clark. Our student section theme tonight will be neon, and we will have concessions for everyone to enjoy. So wear your favorite neon shirt, and let's cheer on our Eagles. Are you ready for some football? Jesse Clark takes on Tate's Creek this Wednesday at 6 p.m. here at Jesse Clark. Our student section will be Jersey themed and Mrs. Riggs will be grilling hamburgers and hot dogs all night. She will also have some fruit and veggies for you. Wear your favorite jersey and let's cheer on our eagles and protect the nest. All right, before we start this map test, let's go over some tips for doing well on map. First, students often ask, what's a good score on map? Well, the goal of the map test is to score higher than you scored the last time. So as long as your score goes up, it's a good score. Next, map is an adaptive test. That means when you get a question right, it gives, gives you a harder question. And you get that one right, and it gives you a harder question. And if you miss one, it takes you back down a level. So that means when you start getting really hard questions, that is not the time to give up. That's the time to really buckle down because really hard questions means you're doing well. Next, have a positive attitude. Tell yourself that you're gonna do well and believe it and try your best the whole time until the end. Your test will have no more than 43 questions this morning. Some of you might only have 40, and some of you might have 41, 42, but 43 is the max. I hope you guys do super awesome on MAP this morning. Students, please stand. Teachers, please check student Chromebooks and student dress code. All right, students, at this time, please make sure that your phone is turned off. We are map testing this morning, and if your phone is just on silent and starts to vibrate during the test, that will be a distraction to your entire classroom. So please, right now, make sure your phone is turned off, powered down, not on silent. All right, and here at Jesse Clark, our school-wide expectations are we value self, value others, and value learning. Every person, every day. Have a great Tuesday, Jesse Clark, and rock the map test.